Hello world folks, it's good to see you all here again. This is your regular dose of world news and analysis. Before we move on to any further details, I'd really love to thank you all for your enormous love and support. In case you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for guys? Hit that subscribe button now and don't forget to press that bell icon. The highly anticipated first three episodes of Harry and Meghan have now dropped on the streaming platform, charting the early days of their romance and Meghan's introduction to royal life. However, in the third episode, one commentator, writer, and broadcaster, Alpha Hirsch, says the Commonwealth is Empire 2.0. An academic professor, Kyne Andrews, claimed nothing has changed from the UK's colonial past. The Commonwealth, a voluntary association of 56 nations, that are mainly former British colonies, is often cited as the former monarch's proudest work. Senior figures also in the Commonwealth have lambasted Harry and Meghan's Netflix series as misleading and patronizing, as it criticized Britain's role in the organization. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex have been accused of tarnishing Queen Elizabeth's legacy after the series showed the late monarch at a Commonwealth summit in 2018 and broadcasting to the British Empire in 1947. It was introspected with criticism of the organization. Writer Off Hirsch described the Commonwealth as Empire 2.0. The controversial comment transitioned in the footage of the Queen giving a broadcast in the Empire for 1947 and a speech at the Commonwealth Summit in London 2018. A former royal insider called the footage and comments unexpected, adding that this was a full-scale attack not just on the Commonwealth, but the Queen's association with the Commonwealth. It's an attack on her life's work. Political commentator Lynn May featured on GB News to note the voluntary nature of the Commonwealth and to critique the comments in the documentary. Ms. May said, Here we have the Commonwealth where people can voluntarily enter, leave, or join. And compared to the Empire of Old, it makes absolutely no sense and it actually makes Meghan and Harry look ignorant. Gammon was the subject of discussion following criticism why the nation would want to join the Commonwealth. In June 2022, Toga and Gavin joined the organization despite neither having colonial ties to the UK. As May noted, the spokesperson for Gavin was absolutely appalled at the suggestion that they have no idea as to why they want to join. GB News and host Mark Dolan said, I think it's patronizing. I think it could even be considered mildly xenophobic or even racist to patronize 54 nations who voluntarily are part of a special post-empire club. A big incentive to join the Commonwealth is trade benefits, which were proposed by Boris Johnson's new partnership, which saw two African investment summits in London. The former Prime Minister said, It is my ambition for the UK to be Africa's investment partner of choice. What do you think about this news, guys? Do you think the Sussex's Netflix is going out of bounds as attacking the Queen's legacy is more than what they can bargain for? Write it down in the comment section below. Let me know what you think. Until then, I guess we'll just have to wait and see if things turn out to be something after all. Also, if you never want to miss any of my Sizzling World updates, like this, subscribe, and press that bell icon. It's as simple as that. So until next time, guys, hasta la vista.